and welcome today in today's episode we are looking at building a silage stack uh, with chaff which I'm going to show you how I do it to make it level now I've lined up six lorries in here we're at Sussex farm and you see you can get six lorries in here no problem now the easiest way to unload them so they unload all the same is if you press R1 and R1 and then the left joypad operates the cruise control as you can see I'm moving up and down four six seven eight and then we want that if you set that on number two so cruise control on number two then all we have to do is reverse right back up to the edge which we've done hold down L1 R1 and you press triangle you start unloading as soon as you press triangle you want to press the circle to start cruise control so unloading cruise control and there we go we get a nice line of silage chaff sorry it's not silage yet it's silage when we cover it see it does go up against the wall a little bit I was probably a little bit too close there now I'll bring that one round to here because I've got a another load in this trailer here ready to go oh oh that's it I think that might work Right, go over and start unloading the rest of them. Now the next pile, it should work a lot better. See, this one's on nine on the cruise control. Knock that down to two. I've already checked the grain door. is is not coming out of the grain door. It's coming out of the main door. So if it comes out of the grain door, it takes twice as long. So L1, R1, triangle, and then circle. Triangle, circle. Yeah, see, some, sometimes it will stop. Because when you reverse a full load in, it won't drop the full load. It'll drop a little bit, and you'll have to drive forward a bit. That's why it's easier just to put it on cruise control and just let it flow out in a nice stream. I said that, I think that's on green door because that's taking a long time yeah that one is set on green door, we'll have to change that you see it's coming out half as much as what I want it to Now when you drive over the top of it, which I don't really want to do until you put it all down, see it flattens it out. Right, we'll unload that last bit now. Terrible driving today. Right, so what we'll do with this half load on the Joskin, we'll bring that down to here, put that in reverse up, just where that stack is, unload, cruise control. And that's coming out nice level load. It doesn't have to be perfect because as soon as you start rolling it down it starts compacting anyway. Right, let's get that one out of the way. See, not the best stack at the moment, but we can sort that out. 
Right, there's that one on 62. We only want two mile an hour. One, two. If I go on the help window on, see tip side right, tip side green door, and you want tip side right. So unload and cruise control. And this time it should bring a nice level load. Yep, there we go. See, it's smaller than, it's a bit larger than the other stack because that was going using the green door. But never mind. I'll get that one out of the way. And we're going to tip this bit into this last section here, I think. So, unload cruise control. Right, so we've got a little pile there, but it doesn't matter. It will all level out in the end. Right, same with this one. Our one, our one triangle circle. Yeah, and that's coming out lovely. Oh, oh. See if you get it right, you can have get just get the perfect stat by just doing it like this. That's another one done. Just one night of room here. Oh, oh, oh. Get that out of the way. Right, so it is normally about 12, 12 loads if you're using the uh, Black Sheep Modern 70,000 litre trailers. We'll put the first couple of layers down. Yep, and that's on the door right. It's not green door, and you can see it's exactly the same height as the other stacks. lovely now this one's got the slightly shorter smaller trailer not shorter see as it goes over the grass it does flatten it Lovely. Right, so we're getting there. Okay, I think we'll do a time lapse now to. I'll go and fill up the rest of these, clear out all these trucks out of the way, and I will join you back in a minute.
right, that's another four ready. R1, L1, R1, triangle, circle. And that's doing green door. Look at it. Help window, yep, see, green door. Don't want green door, we want right. Now that's going to flatten that out. Oh well. That's more like it. Get a nice even spread. Nice. I wish he would run it a little bit faster. The other thing to be careful is when you're in here is, is not press L3 because you, as soon as it's compacted, you can blanket it and you don't want to do that until it's full. Yeah, that's coming out the right door. But you see it's all lumpy and bumpy at the moment you think well it's not that nice but as soon as we get that roller on it right we must be on over 500,000 for this one there. Yep, 625,000. L1, R1, unload, triangle, cruise control, circle. And that's doing green door as well. Tip side, green door. We don't want green door, we want right. Try again and load cruise control. Yeah, see, it does help if you make all your trailers make sure they're tipping the right way from the beginning. Yeah, tip side right. So they're all tipping the right way now. Yeah, nice level load. So that's getting on for about seven hundred thousand in there now. Now you can keep piling it up on top of here, but what I find is that you do struggle getting the lorries, uh, well the trucks, over it, and, well because it's not compacted, so as soon as you've got, like that looks, you can see it's quite bumpy at the moment, it looks a bit all over the place, but we will go and get in the fend, and we will use the roller mod, which I'll show you that in the shop now, it's under miscellaneous, now there's two, there's that one there, but it's the 2.9 meter. And I am using, if you keep scrolling along, there's another roller there, but that's three meters. Same with it, these, these rec systems, you know, they're not massive, they're not that wide. So where, there it is there, 5.2 meters, which is brilliant. Exactly what you want and works a treat. Now you. You have to fill these up with water. Well, you don't have to, but if you're on a roller, you may as well have it have it the better. So if you, you go to the water point and it will just fill itself up. Let's unload, unfold those. And then we will start our rolling. Now before we roll, actually what I will show you, oh, stop. Drop that one off there. 
drop that one off there. So if we put the help menu on, when we drive in, we now see it's on 6%. So we would drive up and down without the rollers. Now this is how we used to do it years ago, when there wasn't any rollers, there wasn't much to do it. We just used heavy equipment rolling up and down, up and down, and it was tedious, boring. I used to hate it. You see what I mean? There's, it's gone from 7 to 8 percent, and that's been four times up and down. Do another one, and you see it's not really flattening out that much either. So it's done 3 percent. 3% now we're going to put these rollers on the difference is ridiculous right drop those down so now we're on 10% and we will go up and down See we're on 16% already, 17%. It goes up a hell of a lot quicker. And it's nice with his fence with the twin wheels because it's you've got that extra weight there. third through but you are better off doing this as you go rather than piling loads of silage on and then try and compact it it takes ages whereas you do it in layers put a, put a couple of foot it looks like a couple of foot there put that down do the next one keep compacting as you, as you lay it down compact again put some more in compact it and the happy days are here, otherwise it's just very time consuming. You see that stack now compared to what it was, was quite all over the place, but now with these rollers it just smooths everything over. There are a few larger bits on the side there, but we'll sort them out later. And that's easy compaction. Right, well I'll carry on doing this, we will put that on a time lapse and we will go and get the next load to show you how the next one you can stack it, stack straight on top of this because now it's compacted you're not going to have trouble getting the trucks in and out because when it's not compacted they do get stuck, especially with a full trailer on. See that didn't take long at all, we're on 77% now, not bad at all. Okay, let's take that help menu back off. No, leave that on while we're compacting, I suppose. And I'll be back in a minute.
this is the last load what I've got available at the moment so we'll put that one in there it's a nice little slot for it oh if I can reverse a little bit better than that that's more like it Now you will put the help window on. We got over a million then. It's going to be 1.4 million in here. Something like that. Which is lovely. 67% compacting. Let's see if we hadn't done the first level the compacting would have been a nightmare. Alright, let's get that out of the way. Then we go and jump in the fend. And we can start the rolling again. already how much is leveling it out. It works much better than dozer blades. There's a dozer blades you find you will end up digging in and making a nice hole. Whereas these rollers, as long as you've got it half flat, half decent, it, it works quite well. You see the silage move the grass moving you now. Chaff not grass, it's chaff. When it hits the silo bunker, it is chaff. Let's see if we can do that last bit on that silo. Oh, got stuck there. A little bit of a hole there. Seventy-three percent. And take it about another minute and we'll be done. Eighty per cent. And get that bit of there leveled out a bit. That is compact and lovely. Try and do that one edge now. And look how flat that is. Now, to get it this flat, this is the only way I found to do it is to use the rollers. If you use anything else, it just will not be flat like that. The advantage when it is flat and you've done all the compacting, you can just keep loading onto this because it produces a nice stable ramp. What you can get your trucks in, no problem. There it is, 100% done. So, as you can see, the state of that is that's pretty level so you can drive up with more trucks and pile into this and make it even more which is pretty pretty cool okay so that is how I make a perfect chaff um, chaff bunker and we got 41.4 million in there brilliant okay Thanks for watching, till the next time, goodbye. <laughs>